Hello everyone, my name is Matthias Roening, and I don't want to lose any more friends. Tragedies have occurred in the Blue Valley School District. Three people who went to our school have now passed. Two bright young people that I knew, Casey Johnson and Chad Harrell. They were both funny, intelligent. And they both had aspiring futures if only they were still here to see them. And while we can't do anything for them now, maybe, maybe we can help the people of the future so that they don't make the same tragic mistake that can only be made once. So I'd like to introduce you all to my tool, the internet, where I've been helping people in online therapy. It all started about four years ago. One of my friends approached me over Skype and they said, you know what guys, I've had a really hard time struggling with depression recently. And I just want someone to talk to. And I, being my eighth grade freshman self, was like, oh my gosh, I have depression, what do I do? Oh my gosh, how can I help? And the thing was, I didn't know how to help. I ended up making it worse. That night I ended up making them cry. And because the halls of our high schools are so filled with anxiety and depression, this didn't happen once. I made three different girls cry. And I regret it so much. But I said to myself, no more. I won't do that anymore. I want to understand what they're going through. I want to understand depression. And so that's what I did. I set out online and I talked to people, whoever was willing to share their thoughts with me. I listened. And then one day, one of them said, thank you. And I, I got it. It clicked. I had learned empathy, something I did not have before. I learned how to understand their pain and their emptiness that they were going through. And that was incredible. It is such a good feeling to be thanked by someone you don't know who's suffering. And you know what? I didn't stop there. I went to end any messaging platform that I could. Anyone who was willing to share their feelings, their thoughts with me. I listened. I have heard so many stories from so many people. I have heard stories of people not wanting to go to their school services because they were afraid of their parents and afraid of the abuse they were receiving at home. Because the truth is that teens do not use school services. We should know this from Chad and Casey. They both took their lives over break, away from school, away from their friends, without any support. And teens are flocking to this online community for attention, for resources, for distraction, and for me, support. And they use so many things that our schools don't apply, even though we have one of the most socially connected programs in the nation. I've been through it, I know. And you know what, online therapy really helps these people, because in some cases they don't have enough money to see a therapist. They can't always talk to the therapist, because you have to schedule that. And it can be weeks or months in between your next talk to them. And with online therapy, something that we could so easily apply in our schools, we can use sites like Seven Cups of Tea that even have programs to apply in school. Courses that students can run through to learn empathy and learn how to listen. And that would be so helpful for our high schoolers, especially if they did it if we taught our high school students to learn empathy because everyone has something to get off their chest something that they might feel might never go away whether it is the grief of losing a friend or the trauma of a tragic incident that should never have occurred to them or anyone if they can learn empathy to listen to their fellow students. Well, they might not change the world, but they can change the way that person sees it. 
They can make them realize that suffering is part of the human condition and that you can talk about it, you can be congratulated, that you are still here. Something I wish we could do to the friends that I lost. So, let's see if we can change the anxiety and depression culture of our schools by having our students care for one another anonymously, truthfully, and trustworthily through online therapy. Thank you.